So a lot of you guys were saying that you really like the World War One dog fights and virtual reality, and I have to admit, I'm kind of the same. I've been craving these dog fights. Look at this. Absolutely lighting this guy up here. How he's not dead, I don't know. But I've been absolutely craving this fight for about a week now. I've been wanting to hop back into some World War One dog fighting with virtual reality. Once again, this is with Oculus Rift S. Uh, for anybody wondering, I always forget to mention in videos, tremendous amount of fun, you know. Virtual reality in general is fun, but World War I is unbelievable. Just the wind going by, I can hear my, oh my god, that guy's tail almost hit me in the face. I can hear my rounds hitting the other aircraft. I can hear the uh, tension as the wood and the cables on my own aircraft are stressed as I turn. Almost have this guy here. I really want to get this guy. I've been chasing him for some time now. I'd really love to get this kill. But also, just in general, a very scary experience. Took off his wing there and he folds. And he's going down. And late war German uh, aircraft did have parachutes, the pilots. There you go. You see him just got out in time there. He just bailed out in time. Um, I don't have a parachute. Must be nice for him. But he got lucky with that bailout. He had seconds to spare. <laughs> And here we go on a tail of another guy here. This looks like a German, uh, is that German? Yep, there's the crosses. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Got some good rounds. I was going for the engine block, but I think I missed. So let's bring this back around. All right, this guy's damaged now. You can see him shaking and wobbling, barely keeping that thing in the air. And that hit the pilot. For sure I hit the pilot there and there is a fire on board and it looks like he's going down and that guy didn't get out that's that's definitely he died <laughs> that sucks so one of the problems with flying so low there's no reaction time to get out once you're hit all right we got a couple parachutes in front of this German guy oh did he oh he just took out that guy's parachute he just flew into it Oh my god, that's a long way down. Why did he do that? I love getting behind a guy at low altitude and uh, staying with him and getting like up close and personal. Almost feels like a true knife fight because you know you're not hitting him with a missile like two miles away or five miles away. You're getting like close enough to basically see the whites of his eyes barely missed hitting him there oh, look at this guy once again this guy seems very damaged already I may have found a wounded guy and we're just gonna wrap this fight up because this guy has to go down wounded or not he is the enemy look at those rounds right into the pilot might have killed the pilot I see his head slumped over to the right and we're gonna follow this guy down. I gotta put some more tracers on him. He's out turning me. I'm really struggling. Oh, he hit the ground. Ooh. Target fixation there. I almost went on the ground with him. Wow. Very, very lucky. Got one of these German bombers underneath one of the guys with the, not a bomber necessarily, but he's got the tail gunner. 
And he's paying attention. We're off. That tail gunner was paying attention. He saw me coming. <laughs> I was hoping to catch him sleeping, but no luck. And a lot of these guys didn't have parachutes, and actually, especially on the Allied side, like I said, the Germans towards the end of the war were issuing parachutes to their pilots. But as far as I know, the Allies never did. Here we go. We got a guy over here. He just crossed in front of me. Wasn't paying attention, I guess. Whoa, yeah, he just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, I gotta stop getting this close to these guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, he got out. Must be nice. Must be nice to have a parachute. This guy has a tail gunner, I think. Kind of makes you want to find the visibility on these things is not great. You see the uh, machine gun fire from the rear there. I kind of want to lean off to the side because he'll probably be aiming for the windshield to try to kill me. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> the bullets going by in VR <laughs> is so scary, man. Look at this. This gunner's not shooting at me, he's shooting at another guy. Or maybe he's reloading now. Nope, he's not reloading. <laughs> I'm right behind the tail, which I think is making it difficult for him to get rounds on me. And I might have just shot him, actually. Nope, oh, he's still there. Again, just constantly trying to... Whoa, my god. That whole thing just came apart. And there's another one. There's another one right here. Just trying to hide behind this guy's tail. Make it harder for the gunner to hit me. We actually got this guy leaking something here. I just gotta wrap this up. Don't want this guy going away. There's the wings. They're gone. And he's going down very fast. Alright, roll over and a nice high speed dive on one of these fighters underneath. I can already see the guy we're gonna take. Oh, this guy right here. That guy. Very high speed dive, and the gunner sees me. Oh, just dove underneath him there. Unfortunately, his tail gunner once again paying attention. And these World War One designs, man, if you can hit a guy in the, you know, the struts, the cables, or the things that hold the wings up, all of a sudden the wings will fold, especially the larger wings. And that usually is a death sentence for the pilot. Look at that. I barely even hit that guy and his wings just folded right in front of me. It's like a deck of cards, man. You feel so bad for these guys. Like, why were you flying these things? <laughs> it's a death trap. Alright, this guy right here. High aspect shot as he goes by, hopefully. Might have hit him there. And, whoa. Wow, his gunner just basically just gave me a haircut. Sometimes flying these World War I aircraft kind of reminds me of the F-14 Tomcat. In the sense that you're fighting the plane almost as much as you're fighting the bandit. Look at this. Oh, that was close. Very close pass by this guy. There we go. Roll around. And there's a guy in a parachute. Probably German. It's uh, very tempting to light him up, but we won't do that. Now this guy's fairly damaged. That was an allied plane that just went by, I think. Cutting it close. There's a lot of aircraft in the air too, so... Look at that. There's a lot of guys. Oh my god. Oh, this guy, somebody got him. Fantastic. You take your eye off the target for one second, somebody steals your kill. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves an already damaged German up ahead. Which I just put a bullet into his engine block there. So this guy's about to have a very bad day. We'll slot him behind. And nice and easy. Oh, sorry buddy. Sorry my man. 
And I don't see a shoot. That guy hit the trees pretty hard. How unfortunate for him. 